Hi. So this is an interesting um, topic, yeah. you can probably tell by the title. Yeah, we wanted to be able to kind of address everybody that's asking and everybody I guess that may come across this video as to why we went vegan. Yeah. And started on this whole journey that's been uh, nearly three years for you now, right? In May, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So this will be, um, it's gonna be interesting. All right, so let's yeah. just dive in. So I went vegan May 2015. 15. Yeah. yeah. So he's only known me vegan. I met him like a couple months later, and which is very road. strange. Yeah. But and we'll I, talk about that another time. Yeah. So I, um, I've always been into health. When I say I'm a health freak, I was, you know, that basically means I didn't really eat processed sugars. Like I was. Just, not really like a junk food person. However, I was very much like a carnivore. Like I ate yeah. a ton of meat. I was like, I was healthy, what I, I thought was healthy. But I've always been interested in health. I had really dealt with a lot of acne, so that's kind of what began my like researching. I'm at a really young age. I had cystic acne and anyway, so fast forward and this thing, this fad, the paleo fad came around and I kind of jumped on that basically. It's just, it's very meat, heavy and very little fruit and no grains like no carbs basically so anyway so i did that for a little while for about a year so i was just like paleo brained where i just thought it was like the caveman diet this is what you should eat whatever which is a lot longer than most people do it a year yeah yeah that's yeah. true and i was really strict for like a couple months and then i was kind of like off anyway i loved following health gurus on instagram and like all these people on YouTube and stuff, and just by coincidence, a lot of them happened to be vegan. The ones that I was like, you know, I followed a lot of the tropical vegans that you probably know of, like Ellen Fisher, and I followed Ravana and Asina when she was a thing on social media. And anyway, so I wasn't following them because they were vegan, but they just seemed really healthy and happy. Right. And I was so paleo mindset setted. <laughs> Minded. <laughs> <Paleo -minded. laughs> that I I was like, oh, these vegans obviously they're deficient somehow. They aren't like getting what they need, whatever, whatever. So I actually did started researching veganism and um, I started researching to prove it wrong because I was like, obviously they're gonna come up with some, you know, down the road they're gonna have some sort of accident. They'll be like, oh, they're deficient and <laughs> I yeah, don't know. Yeah, and something that you don't even know you need, but yeah. you need it. Yeah, I was like, yeah, somehow. And so I just went into hardcore research mode to prove veganism wrong. It was about a year and I was in really intense about it. I don't make any decisions lightly. So after about a year of trying to prove it wrong, obviously I proved myself wrong. And I just found that veganism, eating plant-based is like the best way for our bodies to live and not just like survive and live, but like, to thrive it's how we were yeah. designed and so i gave it a go i watched videos upon videos so um, i was also very eco minded i was right. very like environmentally intrigued mm -hmm. in the vegan lifestyle so i did it basically i went cold turkey <laughs> <Pun intended. laughs> cold um, turkey. <laughs> so anyway i did it and then um like a month into it i had a lot of um, really good health like benefits, yeah. things that like happened and that cleared up, which that's a whole nother video. And that's why like pretty much I stuck with it. I mean, I was convinced ethically and environmentally and health wise, but when I saw the results myself, I was like, I'm never going back. Yeah. Anyway, that was... That no, was that was great. good. That was good. That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. That's like, so I guess deep into the story of it, which is great. It was, it's definitely like the beginnings of like what got me started into everything and got me on the bandwagon, I suppose, the bandwagon, literally, because we were in... A band. A band. <laughs> I and gotcha. sort of in a wagon. That's <laughs> uh, so many puns. Yeah, so her being so passionate about, like, the research behind what she was actually doing as a lifestyle and not just as a diet, especially going through tour, because, I mean, we were on tour for the better part of a year and a half. She was already on tour for a year before I got on, and she had decided that even though it was going to be difficult through that medium, that it was worth doing because it was so much more beneficial than what she had been doing. And along the way, I mean, my sister ended up, she went vegan a couple weeks after me, and then my mom did a couple of months after yeah. me, and then... So it just made sense for me to jump on the road and at least start on the vegan diet, because I didn't immediately jump onto the whole vegan lifestyle. The first, like, six-ish months of eating a plant-based diet, I was still going home off the road, and then I would try to, you know, like, binge on a burger, or binge on pizza, or whatever it was, and it just kept making me sick. It kept making me just feel heavy and exhausted and greasy and just not as good as I was feeling when I was on the road, which being on the road is 
exhausting on its own. So to go back home and feel even more exhausted on my rest time was a telling sign for me that something was wrong with what I was doing. So I didn't start off that way. I started off, I was very health conscious at the time, as I thought, eating eight meals a day, scheduling everything out, calculating out macros for everything. And when I mean everything, I mean like I was down to 10 calories per meal of what my goal was each day. And so I was eating eight meals a day, waking up at four o'clock in the morning to drink a protein like shake, day? like within 10 calories oh, of oh. what, you know, each Got meal it. was supposed to be. Sorry. And so I was waking up in the middle of the night drinking protein smoothies so that I could kind of keep the gains as they were uh, rolling when I was working out and all that. And then when I switched over to eating plant-based on the road, it was just like, I didn't have to worry about it anymore. I didn't have to worry about if I was getting enough calories and all of that because I was just eating to listen to my body with what I needed. I was able to kind of step back and say, okay, what is it that I'm craving? What is it that I'm wanting? What is it that my body actually needs for me to be eating right yeah. now? You can listen to your body a whole lot better when you're eating the right foods. Right, and when you're not and when you're not making your decisions based off a of schedule rather than yeah. based off of your actual like needs. Switching over to the actual vegan lifestyle a couple months down the road was a no-brainer for me because on top of being rich in macronutrients and whatever I needed so that I could work out and exist, I also found that it was so dense with the micronutrients that everybody kind of overlooks, at least in the bodybuilding, weightlifting, that kind of like realm. People overlook that so much and it's so integral to your actual like growth and development and health. Your health, just overall. We it had was a, lot of it was a no brainer to me. Yeah, we had a ton of conversations about I mean, things and because I had just gone vegan and so I I mean I wasn't like I said, it wasn't just about the health, but it was health, environmental, and ethical. And right. So you were hearing this. Any time anybody was asking yeah. us why we were eating certain ways, because on the road, everyone is so curious, Absolutely. which is fine. We just, I love talking about it, but we just ended up talking about it a lot because people just want to know why. And so I think you just, you got a lot of that. You asked a lot of good questions and made me research even more and solidified me into being like, yeah, this is definitely right. This is definitely right. good. So. And when other people were asking us questions too, I mean, they were asking good questions that we needed to go back and look at because yeah. we didn't know all the answers. We still don't know all the answers by any means. But I definitely, I definitely think that was like helpful because you were just, you were in like vegan boot camp, basically, by yeah. being on the road with us. Yeah. And then you made your personal decision when you, the next time you basically Came out on went the road. on the road with us. Yeah. So. Anyway, if you have any more questions for us, any more vegan questions or anything like that, just put them down below and we'll try to answer them in another video. Yeah, just let us know what you want to see. Great. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.